All right, hi everybody, it's Bonkai922. Anyone who saw my Magical Warfare review, yeah, listen, that that was the worst ending I ever saw in an anime. Like, the worst. I mean, I, it was so bad, I couldn't use a thumbnail. I had to use Walter White to show how dissatisfied I was with that final episode. But that, let's get into something else. Strike the blood. Final episode. I know Kim with Shotgun's going to be, like, commenting on this, and she's going to say, Ew! Well, listen. This actually wasn't as bad. The, unlike Angel Warfare, this ending was actually promising. Very promising. Because, basically, in this episode, for the final episode, we get clues for a second season. Not only do we get clues for a second season, we basically get, like, answers to, like, certain questions at, like, the very end. You know, like, in most animes, you'll have the credits roll down at the final episode, and it'll be the extra scene. And that's basically what we get in this episode. Now... Majority of the episode, basically, we have um, Kujo and Himuragi, and Himuragi's basically saying that she's going to go back because the the Wolfen spear was destroyed, and she's been sent back. And seemingly, Kujo doesn't really stop her, and that gets Sayaka really pissed off, and he like slaps him and saying, you know, you know, why didn't you just, you know. Stop her from doing this. Meanwhile, we have the... That dragon that showed up last week apparently is actually a beast dragon kind of thing that came from... It came from the future? And it's basically draining the magic out of the island. So when he actually leaves to go get Himuragi, we see the dragon... He's on top of this roof, and we have Asagi trying to compete, uh, combat the system. She's trying to fix, you know, the, the, the island getting destroyed and everything, and uh, Kujo gets a phone call from her, so to speak, and, uh, you know... He tells her, you know, he she she says, oh, at least you'll be off the island and everything. It's kind of like a farewell kind of thing. And he says, no, you idiot. Uh, I'll come after, come for you and stuff. And, you know, you get this, this, this very nonchalant, you know, kind of feeling. And it gets disconnected, the phone. And what ends up happening is uh, Kujo then is running. We also see Himuragi at the airport. Before that, we get Kujo fighting the dragon. This fight was pretty good, consider it. Now, this episode, 4 to 5. The series, listen, as bad as certain episodes were, I found the second half to be a lot better. So... Overall, I would say between between a seven and a half and an eight. But I'm pushing for an eight only because for the overall series. Because of how they handled this episode and how they handled the second half of this of this, of this series. So pretty much we have Kujo fighting this dragon. And we see that the dragon, his tail is... It's actually coming from a, um, a dimension that's inside, underneath the island, that's absorbing the magic of the island. And he starts fighting it. He's getting it a good show until eventually it starts regenerating, keeps regenerating, keeps regenerating. And 
that's when we got Natsuki Chan showing up with her, the homunculus, and they end up fighting it as well. And eventually what happens is we then go to Imaragi and wink, 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 mystery girl with the blue eyes that looks like Imaragi. But we all know who that person is. And she kind of gives her a pep talk and she basically saying to her, you know, I'm not asking, you know, part of the lion organization. I'm talking, she's basically talking to her as, what does Yukina Hemoragi want? And basically she says to her daughter, <laughs> uh, I want to be with Senpai and that whole thing. And essentially... This Himuragi gives her a new, uh, you know, wolfen, new spear. Now, I found that this episode was done very well. Okay. I found it very well because what it did was it it closed off this battle with this dragon. It gave us some answers. We even saw a, a person who was in the previous arc. Remember the guy who stole the, the spear? Remember during the, the witch thing? Yeah. He showed up as well. Um, he's part of, I think, Motoki's group and stuff. And what Amen's basically happened was the two Himuragis, after Kujo drank Himuragi's blood, used their... Wolfins and attacked it at the base of the tail while Kujo destroyed the main body. And, you know, she did her line, no, it's our fight, Senpai. But, you know, they destroy it, they defeat it. Diamond is saved. And that's pretty much what we got there. And then we have the, the closing with this girl. And before she leaves, she says, you know, uh, uh, something about, oh, them, them being a lover, being lovers and stuff. And then before she goes back for the time thing, which makes this time, this time thing shows up and she's about to disappear. She calls Himuragi mom. And I'm like, yeah, saw it coming. So, that's essentially what happened. Then after that, she go. Then we have the credits, and it ends. I was like, okay, this is pretty good. This is this is a solid ending. I'm like, Marshall Warfare. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up. Continues. This was a solid ending because not only did they defeat this dragon and brought everything back normal on the island, but. Kind of got an idea about this mystery girl who looks like Himuragi. With the blue eyes. Not only that, after the credits rolled, we saw another scene. We saw the scene with this Himuragi, who we found out was Reina. Her name's Reina. And we see another girl who looks like Asagi. But, and, you know... There's, there's, there's that and you know you know she's she's basically talking to her and saying you know, did you destroy the dragon she said yeah and they're basically having a conversation and saying that she saw her mother 20 years ago she really looked like me now and then she's like oh and then she says her I saw my dad before that he's dead and then she says, oh, that's, that's not true. You saw your dad this morning. And then we end it with, she says kingdom, this kingdom. But the way she said it, I believe she said Cujo. So, and that's the end of the episode. So... Basically, from what I am gathering here, 
is this. Reina is definitely Cujo's and Hemuragi's daughter. The other girl that was talking to her, I'm going to call it. I'm going to say that that is Asagi. I'm guessing Asagi marries Matoki. And that's just my prophesis from this. Because it's really hard to decipher. I mean, at first I thought, oh, maybe it's the other way. Maybe it's, you know, but hey. Now the signs were all there. <laughs> it was all there. It wasn't really hard to figure out. Yeah, this girl is Kucho's daughter. <laughs> you know? But overall, this was an okay series. But they could have done it better um, the first half. I find that the second half... See, it's twofold. The first half of Strike the Blood, the opening music, music in general, was really good. Second half, the music was okay, but the story was good, I thought. I thought the second half of Strike the Blood was stronger than the first half. That's why... And this episode was done very well. It wasn't stuck in a fucking time zone where, oh, we're here, and then we're here. Psst. Magical warfare. You should be ashamed of yourself, Madhouse. But this was done well. The final episode. Now, season two... Um, yeah, I can see it. I definitely could see a season two. We just have to wait and see how they pull it off with a season two. Um, they obviously will probably be going... I don't know where this season for Strike the Blood, because it's a light novel. I don't know where they... How many volumes they put in into this one series, in this 24-episode series. So kind of hard to determine, but, hey, I thought it was okay, it wasn't great, out of the spring that I was reviewing, that I've seen, that I've finished, I'll tell you right now, I haven't seen the endings of, um, Tokyo Ravens, and Log Horizon. But this is probably, unfortunately, this is last to the other three. I have a feeling, because if I put this above, I mean, I, it's really hard to tell, because Golden Time was pretty good, to a certain extent. Maybe I would put Dark the Blood above Golden Time, but I don't really think so. I would say... The best for the for the fall, I said spring, would probably be rather Log Horizon or Golden Time or Tokyo Ravens. So, yeah. But this was still a good series. Like I said, 8 out of 10 for the series, 4 out of 5 for this episode. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I they did it well. Hey, they did the ending pretty well. It wasn't... And, and kill me with a shotgun. Listen, man. Listen. Okay. All right. Ew. Hey. What's better? Strike the Blood or Magical Warfare? I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to say uh, Strike the Blood. Because they didn't leave their main character in, a, in, in like... What the fuck? No? So, yeah. But that's the story, people. Bonkai 922. Oh, I forgot to mention. Later tonight, I'm going to do a live stream on Toriko. Look forward to that. And Tuesday, I'll probably do another live stream. I'll do a live stream on Tuesday. It's going to be... Spring. As of right now, it's 4, but I might bump it to 5. Haven't decided yet. Gotta wait for to see that. that. I'm Bonka922. See you guys later. Shut the blood is finished. <sighs> no more. Not wrong. It's all Senpai. No more Senpai. Senpai left the building. Himaragi. You need to leave now. I'll see you guys later.